and um, J uh, J Man and FYBs. They recently, you know, been having like a little fallout, and um, you know, J Man basically was saying like he don't want to be FYB no more. You want to take the letters out of his name and and all that, and um. You know, first of all, how you how you view that where he basically and, and his guys was feeling the way because they said he put it on the internet and didn't talk to them. You get what I'm saying? Like what was your point? Cap, man. He just talking. Why okay, if you ain't want to be FYB no more, take them letters out your name. Go change your Instagram to just J Man. Go take That's all why people shit think down he to That's huh? why people think you trolling. But you don't, you don't take it as that. Like I said, bro, it's certain shit you do and a certain shit you don't do. Niggas, you can play all that. Everybody don't troll. Everybody don't uh, respect that shit. J Man, I want to. This why me and J Man fall out. The truth come through jokes. J Man act like he joking and be serious with a lot of shit. That's how J Man not the nigga to give it to you in the raw. It gotta be situations like that for him to get mad and start <laughs> spitting all at the fucking camera and doing all the shit that he's doing. He ain't gonna do that regular. He's not gonna have no conversation with you regular. Hey, bro, look. I'm taking these letters out of my name. It's time for me to be a grown man, which is a grown man. I'm gonna have a conversation that it's easy to do that. You're gonna go on the internet and da 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 da. But it's situations that already happened, as we know, that made him say that or whatever. He trolling. I don't think he trolling. I think that it's shit that went on and he just shit that been going on and he finally found a way to, you know. Finally, now he's man enough to just say fuck it. Da, 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 da. But mm -hmm. you got to take them letters out your name on the internet then. Mm -hmm. How you feel about him saying he, uh, he, uh, <laughs> he, it ain't funny, but how you feel about him saying he'll sacrifice, you know, people, you know, black billionaire black that's your guy. He said he was going to sacrifice one of his guys too, but it's like, how you feel when you hear shit like that? Uh, <clears throat> you got to watch what you speak into existence. Watch the tongue is very powerful. Um, if y'all don't know, I already did a video on that two, three weeks, a month ago. Billionaire already said that first. He felt like, so when he talked to Dirk, he felt like, damn, bro, what you going to do? Sacrifice me? You going to sacrifice one of the guys? Yeah. And he want to go on that bitch and say that, bro. Like, you might want to, he might really want to sacrifice one of the guys. Nigga might really want to be OTF. He might really want to fuck with them niggas. He really came from the, from the, from the builders with them niggas already anyway. So <clears throat> he just started hanging on the wrong side. If he never came, started on the fucking with Duck and them, he would have been one of them niggas already. He would have sent an OTF, old blocky and ass nigga anyway. He mm -hmm. BD at the end of the day. All that on BD insane and da 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 da, all this shit. Yeah, it's BD now. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So, um, okay, I, I seen one time, like about a, year, a couple years back or something. You was, you was putting it out there that J-Man, or maybe he did, but I remember y'all, it was back and forth. Y'all was having a back and forth where J-Man, he, you went to jail and he messed with your baby mama. Now, do do you do you view him as disloyal or something? Because I had heard you say you brought him to, to Vegas. He stayed with you, this, that, and the third. I know he disloyal, man. A lot of these niggas disloyal, man. Any, a lot of these niggas that do anything for some coochie. Um... I didn't care about it. I didn't care about it because I don't mess with her no more. And I'm not talking about Mama Lane. I got another baby mama. So everybody keep, oh, did he fuck Mama Lane? If he, listen, man, a bitch won't be around me no more. You fuck my homie. <laughs> Your ass is cut. The water is off, bitch. Yeah, type shit. Yeah. But yeah, like, that, bro, niggas just got snake, snake tennessee, but you got to understand. He just said that too. He said he don't want to be known as fuck your bitch J Main no more. That's what FYB stands for. So a lot of the shit you can't get mad because that's what he when you put certain letters on the front of your name, you gotta stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Your name can't be killer and you ain't smoke nobody. You gotta kill somebody, nigga. Your name killer. What you calling yourself killer for? Mm -hmm. Your name can't be murder and you ain't caught no murder. Your name can't be money Mike and you ain't getting no money. Your name can't be FYB and you ain't fucking nobody, bitch. You gotta fuck somebody, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, my thing is this, but when you when you you do it to your circle or you do it like that, at the end of the day, my baby mama, she's a hoe. 
that's her life. She fucked for a living. So that's what I'm telling you. I still fucked with him. As y'all can see, I still fucked with him. I didn't care. I didn't bring it up until I told you the truth come through jokes. Now we we trolling and doing what we doing, and he bring it up. So now it made me like. Yeah, that is that is I'm kind of crazy. Or something like that. Like, okay, now we not trolling because this actually happened. So now you playing with me again. That's what I'm saying. Niggas don't know, man. Small brain niggas will never understand. They're gonna think a nigga hating. They're gonna think a nigga. Well, I got cars, cribs. I got I got my own shit. Got my own motion. Uh, it's not just me. I got 10 kids. I take care of shit. I got jewelry. I got it. You know, why am I hating on a nigga? God going to continue to bless me. I'm going to always have my blessing because this shit genuine from my heart. When a nigga, when y'all see me tripping, I'm not mad at J-Man. J-Man did something that hurt my heart. That hurt my feelings, gang. Mm -hmm. This shit is hard. Be heartbreaking when you you love somebody, gang. You, you got love for a nigga, gang, and a nigga cross you. The same way I felt I with Lil J. Niggas would, you know, mm -hmm. this was my homie. I love the shit out of Lil J. Nigga, like, what the fuck? Yeah. You backdoor me. You played me, nigga. So, you yeah. know, that right there, that's why a lot of niggas get smoked and niggas get knelt. Niggas get their ass hurt. Mm -hmm. Even females. How you think it happened? Oh, bitch, I've been doing everything for you. you blah, 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 and you fuck my homie. And a nigga kill his bitch. And, you know, this was shit happen. You think people do it because. Damn, oh, no, nigga, because you played in my face. Yeah. That shit, when, and when, when you get to thinking, you, and I'm one of the niggas, I'm thinking, this bitch ass nigga, or this punk ass bitch, all the shit that I done did, all the money that I done spent, all the, all the positions that this I done did for you, da 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 da, for you to backdoor me or across me. There's a thin line between love and hate. Don't never forget that. Never yeah. forget that. Yeah, now nah, that's crazy. That's real.